Hello, this is Divine Sunshine, and welcome to Divine Speaking Unplug. Um, this one is about fear gets more likes than love. Interesting enough, um, I found out that um, through me doing coaching and trying to help build my social media platform that um, some of the things that I found out, which I thought was very intriguing, was that you get more likes when you have a more fear-based title than you get uh, and more people to travel to your um, page than those of ones that are more of a positive base, which I found very fascinating. Uh, I could not believe that um, something like that would be um, pretty much pushed oh. people as well as far as saying, hey, oh. you know what, you need to do this in order to get more people. Uh, I, I found that to be very kind of like creepy. <laughs> Concept, that you have to do things like that in order to get people to come and travel and look at your page. Um, it, it seems like it has to be a different way. But you know what? As I think about that, in life, although we are balanced by two different energies, good and evil, shadow and light, um, you know, darkness and light, those things in order to really push us, really the things that frighten us is the things that really help us to kind of propel us. Um, and a lot of times when we think about this fear-based things and energies, we don't reach out and really truly go for the things that we love. Let's just be honest with that. A lot of times that we sit up there and we're like, you know what, I'm just going to sit right here and just stay right here. I'm scared to go out of my comfort zone and really truly go after the thing that I love. And then when you do that, you find yourself that you are truly um, in alignment with fear. Uh, you're not finding yourself kind of finding a way as far as how can you go and expand and spread your wings uh, in doing that and so when we find ourselves doing that we need to kind of really like blow the whistle at ourselves and say you know what uh, maybe what I'm doing here is uh, not right uh, I'm thinking I'm giving myself more likes for the fear factor than I am in love and so this is where we have to create the magic this change that creates for all of us to be able to see that hey you know what I'm going to start giving likes to love the things that I love I need to go ahead and go more towards that than the things of not I think also when I say about that you need to really pay attention to the things that you are listening to and watching to I always oh. say that Please make sure that you are looking at the things that you are resonating with and you're listening to as well because those things can also make you, um, you know, build more of that fear factor. It's very easy, such as, you know, I can hear some people say, well, that's why I don't listen to uh, the news. Uh, I don't do because when I listen to the news, it causes me to get into that. It triggers me and think about where well, the world I'm in is not safe. It's not that. Now, maybe you might have wanted to go to the concert or maybe want to do a certain thing. And then you find yourself saying, no, you know what? I'm not going to do that because I am scared because the news is talking about their carjacking and doing X, Y, and Z. And I'm not going to do it. You need to kind of get to the point where you're saying, you know what? That's kind of hilarious. Like this thing like that. You know what? If I have truly have put the shield myself from different energies and those things like that, I'm going to go ahead and do what I feel I have to do, which is to go out there and exactly enjoy myself. And so when you're doing that, you can't be dealing about the the boogeyman that's out there and doing whatever he's doing there to cause you to not do the things that you're doing because that is it that really causes you to stop 
stop being the dynamic person that you are uh and and it's also when we're thinking about social media and you're trying to put things out there for people you know just go on ahead and do it uh and don't care about what other people want to say what pe- other people think about me is none of my business okay and so that is something that we have to keep in mind when we're talking about um doing these these fear factors things about what who needs to be eliminated who is the weakest link uh that needs to be eliminated out of my life as well because you know it comes a time that they're stopping us from our flow and so i just wanted to really bring this to you about that again and i thought that's like i said it's very fascinating that it's the fear factor that we some kind of way we always find some kind of way for it to be uh, drama queens uh, in life. And we like all that drama that goes on. And, it, you know, it's not funny, uh, you know, but again, there is that. We, we, we experience that. We like that fear factor. That's just like when we go going in traffic and we're just regular on the expressway and we look and some accident that goes on. What's happening? We call it rubbernecking. We all turn around and looking and seeing what oh. happened. Oh, my God. I can't believe that happened there. And we're looking. We're just creatures as humans. Oh. That that's something oh. that we're going to find ourselves oh. Exactly, um, going on and doing this one thing here. Uh, and so, uh, you know, that ooh, ah, what's going on over there, and stuff like that. Then you find yourself like, can you just be beep? Can you get on out of here and just keep it flowing, please? Because you stopping me from where I need to go. So I just wanted to kind of bring that to your attention so you can make sure that you are not participating in that thing and giving more likes to fear. And you are now giving more claps to things that you love or more likes to them, okay? Make sure that you are doing those things as well because that is what's going to be going on. You sit there and you go and you create a gratitude channel and you give thanks to those things that you're grateful for those things that have happened into your life so you can draw more of those things you concentrate more so on those things that give you more so a like a love as well so that you could be able to go on to the next level all right then as always if you're interested in getting a reading with me go to divine unisoul's 11.co if you're interested in getting a past life regression session or even a clearing of a pain or emotions that's happening in your um in your area in your body um, make sure you go to uh, ashantiwellnesscenter.com. Go to Divinely Speaking Unplug YouTube where you can see me doing videos there. You can also go to Divine Unisouls where you can be able to get inspirational posts and things like that uh, in my community tab and go to in- I Instagram as well. They have those too. And you can also catch me on my Facebook page called The Divine Twin Souls uh, 11 as well. All right, then, as always, thank you so very much for uh, listening. And as always, I want you to go out there and shine and stay uplifted, stay motivated, stay ascending. Namaste and Namago.